Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we are going to talk about how to make those music notes in 3D and make them puffy. Are you ready? Let's get started. To make those puffy music notes, you can draw your own style or you can simply go online. To grab the image that you like, we're gonna use command picture. And I'm going to open the file that I just grabbed it online. I'm not having any size in mind, so I'm just going to stay with this size. Let's uh, lock it. So what I like to do is trying to retrace those lines and simply just using the rectangle and also the oval or ellipse shape and snapping here to here coming out something like this and you don't have to worry if they are not exactly matching because this is just for the reference we are going to change a lot of things here so once we have that i'm going to kind of group it and I kind of noticed they share the shape. So I'm going to uh, basically to alter from the, the first curve that I create. Then I'm gonna come in over here, roughly draw something like this. And again, don't worry about if it is not 100% mid because it's just a reference. You can do your own design or your own style if you want to. Uh, make sure you open the small track here so you can snapping into here coming back here then they will be aligned and i'm going to leave it like that and making another copy from here to here and maybe turning a little bit taller something like this move down the whole things like this and building up the line from here to here and kind of move it down like this making a copy and there's another one right here and making a copy all right so now we have everything the very last thing is this guy so i'm going to unlock it and kind of tilt it a little bit so this is more straight in a way and lock it again that's zooming starting from this shape right here All right, and then you can keep editing if you like it. Um, and the uh, this part, this music note, I would like to separate them into two parts. So the first part is that scroll of things. The second part is the more of the straight down line. Because if you wanna um, doing everything at once, it might be a little bit difficult. And I want this one coming in because I might just drop a sphere over there. Okay, so once everything is done, let's turn um, the background off. And keep looking at it now. It's much uh, easier for us, to, for us to look at the line. So you might want to make sure that everything is nice and puffy as the way that you like. I also don't like to have the ending is pointed. I may want to give it a little fillet, something really small at the end. And kind of join them together at the same time I want to split it back with the point right at this tip. So now they become two curve. All right, so double make sure everything's the things that you want. That's starting with this one. I'm going to ungroup all of them. And then also I'm going to explode it, those line. So first of all, we can use the sphere with the diameter and locking into those point. And all we need to do is make them a little bit wider and rotate it into the angle that we want. If that is too puffy, you can 1D scale with the gumball. Then we got the bottom part done. The second thing that I like to do is using this circle with the diameter. I'm going to building the circle there. You can click on the vertical so you will go the other direction there. Two way to build it. The first one, you can simply just uh, sweep to rail one, rail two, cross section. And then you got this over here. So once you have it, if you want this, the end is rounded, 
you can use the commands for patch and you can patch the surface edges and you will get something rounded like this so that's one way to do it and then after that you can just join it the other way to do it i'm going to do a comparison moving this one out you can simply just draw a straight line going from the midpoint to the midpoint there and we simply just gonna use the pipe tool piping snapping into the endpoint here and endpoint there and then we'll got the other one both were well working but this one with the pipe you have a puffier ending over there so once you have this done let's go ahead to bowling union and make sure that it will look nice and puffy if we're looking at the render view, you can see this more like a one thing stick in there. So what we wanted to do is making them look really nice by giving a filler edges. I'm going to try something small in my case. I'm going to try 0.2 and see what happened, right? So it looked pretty nice and smooth. Let's take a render view one more time. All right. For the next one, I'm just simply just going to make a copy with the gumball. And we simply just need to build this surface. I'm going to creating ellipse with the diameter, snapping here to here, and coming into the front view to see how much of the depth do I want it. The, again, we are going to use the same command snapping to endpoint to endpoint. And coming down here, make sure you want them to be narrower than the bar over there. All right, so I'm going to temporarily just hide this one. It's easier for you to see. We are going to use the sweep to rail, rail 1, rail 2, and the cross section 1 and 2. And that's how we get the shape. Again, you can use the patch command to patch these edges, surface edges. And you can preview it and to see if this is what you want. If you like it, go ahead to join. The other side, because it's inside of the body, I'm simply just going to cap it. Let's turn it back. Uh, make sure it's still inside of the shape. It's not stick it out there. And we are going to bowling union together and apply the same radius on these edges over there. So we'll have that one. Let's make another copy over here and another copy over here. I don't know if there has some specific angle for this one. Maybe if my fan, whoever is good at the uh, music can tell us that. But I will need to make sure one thing is this endpoint want to snapping into this endpoint. So I'm going to move move this one from the endpoint to this endpoint so that will look better okay so let's draw the profile again with the ellipse with the diameter snapping here to here coming into the side view having something like this again we want to snapping into the endpoint to endpoint coming to the side view roughly the same high Okay, so we are going to use the sweep to rail one more time, rail 1, rail 2, cross section, and rail 1, rail 2, cross section. Okay, so see if that is what you like. If you do, go ahead and cap it, make it into the solid, so we can bowling all four pieces together. And don't forget to give in a little bit radius. So we're going to stay with the same radius there and also there. So the last one that we wanted to look at it is this guy over here. So again, we're going to create a cross section. I'm going to go from the end point here to the end point there, coming over to the side. And to decide how fat I wanted this guy here. Coming over here, endpoint to endpoint, and coming over here to decide how thick you want it to be the end. All right. Uh, this one particularly, I would like to make sure my history is on, and let's do sweep to rail. So you got rail one, rail two, cross section, and all the way to the end. Um, and 
also let's take a look on the top view right there as you can see the cross section doesn't look good so we have this at slash right here and you can adjust it the way it is cross so you won't have that uh, ugly twist there on your surface and you don't want to add too many there but you just want to add it somewhere that will make it look nicer on your surface so you see it's not as twist as uh, the original one once you like it and you click ok for the second part we also want to record history here and we want to do sweep to rail 1 rail 2 cross section here and also the cross section at the end and again we want to make sure that it's it's not twisting so right about here I want to add a slash there another one added about right here this one goes straight like this and click OK all right so now we have all of this and we also want to edit the end so I'm simply just going to add the sphere somewhere about here coming up for whatever how big you like it and moving roughly like this okay so a few things that we can do since we record the history if we change I feel like oh it's not puffy enough and I wanted this one to be puffier as long as you move this and everything the, the thicknesses and everything will be changing too now some of you may like to have it going a little bit up and down so you can turn on the curve that you have over there for example I'm going to pick up this curve and turn on the control point and maybe at the end right here like all of those point I would like to go up a little bit and as you can see it will real time will follow right so you can kind of edit whatever you think you should be more puffier so for example right here on this one I may want this to go higher or something like that so you can adjust to the way that you like so if everything looks good to you, you are going to join this. It will tell you that you breaking the history. That's okay. We no longer need it. And you also want to cap it. So now this is a solid and this is a solid. So we can do the bowling union. And don't forget to adding the rounders by giving a fit edges there. So that's how we get this perfect music note. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't joined the membership, you might want to join the membership. It's $4.99 a month, but you can watch a lot of additional video that is only available for the member. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next.